Hey guys, today's tutorial is about how to create a 3D text effect in Affinity Designer as you can see right here. And to start we need a new clean document. We are giving it a clean white background so we can see um, our text better. Give, making it white and locking it. And first of all we need our graphic text tool you find right here. Or you can also click T on your keyboard and write a word you want to transform into a 3D text. For example Affinity and make it bigger and choose a cool font. For example, I'm using Righteous for this one. Selecting your normal cursor, the move tool, you can also click V on your keyboard for this and making it a little bit bigger again, moving in the middle. And what we have to do now is we have to convert to curves. So if your um, screen is big enough, you would see it right here, um, somewhere here, but mine is too small. So I have to click on these little arrows and click convert to curves. Then we can select the first curve, hold down shift and the last one to select all of them and go to geometry and click on add. And then we can move it out of the group and delete the group. And now we need to zoom in a little bit. We need to select our layer right here and now hold down option if you're using a Mac PC or alt if you're using a Windows PC and zoom in a little bit more. And then with holding down option or alt, uh, depending on your PC, move it a little bit to the left, uh, to the right and to the bottom like this. And now you zoom out and now use command and J or for example, a control, um, control and J if you're using Windows and hold down to um, duplicate it multiple times to create your 3D effect. Um, as the more you hold it down, the more um, deeper your effect gets. You can now select the first curve, scroll down and select the last curve. Make sure to select only the curves that were for the shadow for your 3D effect. And now click on um, Geometry Add again. And now you can um, select the, um, the curve above and move it above and make it a little bit brighter. So you see we have our 3D effect. Now what we need to do now is we need to choose a color we want to use um, that fits. For example, I've chosen a cool blue tone. So I will go with a blue tone again now, but just one and copy the um, hex code with command C and paste it with command V for the shadow of it and then move it a little bit to the bottom until um, you're satisfied with how it looks like. Now we need to go to the first curve again and zoom in again. And we need to copy and paste with command C and command V. If you're using a Windows PC for all of the commands I'm using and saying use control instead of command. And now move it a little bit to the left and to the top like this, maybe make it a little bit other tone so you can see um, what it's gone, uh, gonna be like. We are um, um, deselecting snapping so it gets better for this. For example, like this, because this will be our highlight or white highlight for this. Now select the, um, um, the curve we are moved and also hold down command or control and select the curve underneath the uh, main curve and click on duplicating first and click on subtract then. And now we can give it a white tone. So we have our highlight right here. We can move out again. We can activate snapping again. And what you can do now to make it look even better, we can group all of them by holding down the one curve, shift and the last one to select all of them. And then clicking command and G or control and G and then go to effects, go to outer shadow and give it black 50, 50 and for example 20 and also the angle we used for our um, shadow for example 315 and again go to your group and select the white curve and give it opacity of for example 75 to make the highlight a little bit softer and you can experiment till you're fully satisfied. It will even look better if you have a matching background color. For example, we could use something from this object, for example, this tone and making it darker then and changing a little bit the tone. So for example, something more to this softer one 
and then also color overlay black of for example 5 to 10 percent and if you're fully satisfied um, then this one is finished and that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye